Friday. Our team coverage continues now with questions about when and if schools could reopen. The governor's current closure plan is in place through at least May 20th. Meanwhile, President Trump has said he wants states to open schools as quickly as possible. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Civino is sorting this out for us tonight. He's live at Wethersfield High School. Mike? It seems unlikely that Connecticut schools will reopen anytime soon. The governor saying we're still weeks away from having a plan. And it seems like the people here agree. We want them to do it. We uh, recommend that they do it as quickly as possible. President Trump saying Monday he wants governors to reopen schools soon. But he also said health and safety need to be priorities. Many are thinking about their school system. Not a long way to go. Because of those concerns, quick may not be possible here in Connecticut. We reached out to Governor Ned Lamont's office today but got no response. His current executive order has schools closed until May 20th. But we may also not have a plan on when or if schools will reopen until that day. The Connecticut Association of Boards of Education supports Lamont's cautious approach when it comes to schools. The health and safety of students and our staff, teachers, paraprofessionals, bus drivers, custodians, has to be the primary consideration when we talk about education. The general public also supports the shelter-in-place orders. A Kaiser Family Foundation poll recently found 80% of people support such orders. Support is bipartisan, with 94% of Democrats, 84% of Independents, and 61% of Republicans agreeing. School closures have cast doubt on events like high school sports and graduations. A group of parents is trying to designate a day to allow for graduations, but they say their intent is a ceremony that follows CDC guidelines, not a protest of Lamont's orders. I believe in opening up uh, the quarantines and areas and cities and towns and states slowly and wisely, so we're not in favor of rushing it just for graduations. I think, you know, as a, as a community, as a, as a state, as a nation, we will, we will do that in, in a slow process. Um, this is not to say we want to jump the gun and, and get people out there and getting back to school. The Connecticut Association of Boards of Education also says that school boards are working on a number of different scenarios. They're also trying to figure out how to identify learning gaps when students are eventually able to return. From Wethersfield, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness.